Well, COVID hospitalizations across the nine county Kansas City area are now on average 156 a day. This is according to the Mid America Regional Council. Nurses from New Orleans are now in Kansas City to help healthcare professionals as COVID cases surge. KBC 9's Brian Johnson explains how a six person team with critical frontline experience is arriving at just the right time. Nurses from Tulane Medical Center arrived to applause at Research Medical Center in Kansas City. But we love that they're here and, and they are a wonderful morale boost for our nurses. It's just that extra support. Kansas City was so gracious to send us nurses when we needed help that it's only right that we pay back yes. the favor as well. Tulane received 200 nurses from our area at a time when its system was pushed to the limit. We've never ever seen our hospital just overwhelmed with so much sickness, mm -hmm. such sick people that couldn't take care of themselves. It's knowing that every day you go in, every patient you take care of is going to have their life in the balance. Absolutely. And you have no idea when it's going to end. Six nurses pay it forward, bringing new energy. They'll fill some of the shifts of the hundreds of nurses that work at research. We all worry about what the capabilities are going to be with ICU beds. Hospitalizations are way up with COVID-19, car accidents and other emergencies. They're at two to three times the peak earlier in the pandemic. It's super nice to know that we have people in the community that will come help us during these extremely trying times. The chief medical officer says they're concerned about staffing. They'll run out of workers before the hospital runs out of beds. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And the hospital anticipates having outside nurses help for at least the next month. Each week, new nurses will arrive to replace those returning home. A new health order is now in effect in Douglas County. All gatherings are now limited to 15 people. That's down from 45. Anyone older than five will still be required to wear masks in all indoor spaces. Health officials say the changes are needed because people are letting their guard down and coronavirus cases are spiking as a result.